lesson 5.3b, variables on both sides. This lesson is going to continue teaching how to solve multi-step equations. However, this lesson will not be tested on a unit test this nine weeks. When solving these equations, after you have simplified, you're going to add or subtract one of the variable terms to get a variable term on one side of the equation only. For the example, we're going to solve. Our first equation, 2a plus 3 equal 3a. First look to see if you can simplify any, and there's none, so I might look to see if I can simplify first. And there's nothing we can do there, so I'm going to cross it off. And then second, I'm going to um, get rid of a term. Get rid of a variable term. So what happens here is I end up with a variable term on each side of the equal sign. And if this was a two-step equation, I would only have one on one side of the equal sign, and this would tell me I was getting rid of what was on the same side with it. But instead, we're going to get rid of one of those terms. Since there's only one term on the right side, I'm going to get rid of the term on the left. So I'm going to get rid of positive 2a by subtracting 2a from both sides. So I get 3 equal 1a, which is just a. And in this case... Since we've done that step, usually we'll have to solve, but there's no solving to do here. In this case, we're done. This was an unusual problem in that it was that short. Part B, we have 3v minus 8 equals 7 plus 8v. First, I want to see if I can simplify. And there's nothing I can do on each side to simplify, so I'm not going to do that. Second, I'm going to notice if there are um, variables on both sides. And I want to get rid of one of those. So I have 3v, oops. I have 3v on the left side and positive 8v on the right side. And I can choose which one I get rid of. I think I'm going to get rid of this positive 3v by subtracting 3v from both sides. So on the left side, they canceled out, and I've just got negative 8 equal. On the right side, I bring down the 7, and 8v minus 3v is positive 5v. So we've got rid of the variables on both sides. We've only got it on one side now. And the third step is just to solve. In this case, it is a two-step equation. So I'm going to box in my v term. And look at that equal sign and notice that there's a 7 on the same side of the equal sign. So I'm going to get rid of that positive 7 by subtracting 7 from both sides. I get negative 15 equal positive 5v. And then one more step, I need to get rid of the 5 by dividing both sides by 5. So I get that negative 3 is equal to v. And so we finish solving this equation. We first look to see if we could simplify. Then we got rid of one of the V terms. There was two, one on each side, so we got rid of one of those. And then it became a two-step equation that we solved in two steps. Problem C, G plus 7 equal G minus 3. First, we look to see if we can simplify. And there's no simplifying that we can do. Second, we look to see if we have variables on both sides. And we do. So we're going to get rid of one of those. I have G on the left side and I also have G on the right side. So when I subtract to get rid of this G on the left side, and I have to do the same thing to both sides of the equal sign, what's going to happen is G minus G will cancel out on both sides. And so I end up with 7 equal negative 3. That's kind of unusual. Can we say that 7 has the same value as negative 3? No, we can't. That's false. And so what this says is there is no solution or no answer to this equation. 
So we um, got rid of the variable from one of the sides, and then there really wasn't any solving to do. And we're done with this problem. Part D, we have five, uh, 2C plus 4 minus 3C equal negative 9 plus C plus 5. First, let's simplify. On this left side, notice we have a 2C minus 3C. And 2C minus 3C is negative 1C. And we'll bring down the plus 4. On the right side, notice that we've got a negative 9 and a positive 5. So I'm going to bring down C. Oops. And negative 9 plus 5 is negative 4. So we have simplified. Now let's box in our terms that have C on each side. We have negative C on the left side and positive C on the right side. And we're going to get rid of one of those. So I'm going to get rid of this negative C by adding C to both sides. On the left side, they cancel. And we just have 4. On the right side, C plus C is 2C. Bring down your minus 4. And now we just have a two-step equation. So I'm going to box in my C term. I'm going to get rid of minus 4 by adding 4 to both sides of the equation. And we get 8 equal 2C. Divide both sides by 2. And C equal 4. This problem had several steps to it. It was kind of a common setup for a problem that was a variable on both sides of the equation. First, we did any simplifying. Second, we got rid of a variable term. And then third, we solved, and it'll usually either be a one or two step equation, often two. So we just solved the two step equation.